All right, guys, so we just wrapped up the 2013 Arnold Classic Europe uh, in Madrid, Spain. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a competition that was held two weeks after the Mr. Olympia with essentially all of the all of the competitors from the Mr. Olympia competing in this competition also. Um, I believe every year they do something like that. They always hold a competition immediately after uh, the Mr. Olympia and um, the competitors of the Olympia, are, I guess, are like obligated to compete in that competition. Um, so basically, the results were essentially the same as the Olympia as far as the top four go. Uh, Phil Heath, number one. Kai Green, number two. Dennis Wolf, number three. Sean Roden, number four. Uh, Jay Cutler did not compete in this competition, so that moved um, Victor Martinez up. Oh, shit, so it looks like um, Dexter Jackson didn't compete either. So Victor Martinez got fifth. Um, I don't recall what he placed in the Olympia, but Victor Martinez moved up and got fifth. Rolly Winkler moved up a spot and got sixth. Uh, he got seventh in the Olympia, so he basically moved up a spot because of Jay Cutler being absent, since Jay Cutler got sixth uh, in the Olympia. Um, so it looks like uh, the results were pretty much the same. Tony Freeman moved up quite a bit. Tony Freeman came in seventh. Um, Brandon Curry moved up. He got eighth. Lionel Bayecki moved up one spot. He got ninth. I think he got tenth in the Olympia. And then the rest are uh, tenth place is Fred Smalls, the dude with the huge arms. Um, let's see who else is in here. Now there's a guy. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of this guy. There's a guy from Russia, I believe. His name's Alexei uh, Alexei Lesukov. And I'm sure you guys have seen this dude. He's the he's the really young guy. That's got really big ass tits. Like he's just got some huge fucking boobs. Like he's just really young and his chest is huge, but they just look like boobs. Like they don't look right. And I just don't like his physique. He's just really, uh, he's just really puffy. And his, uh, to me, his hamstrings and his quads, and and just from the back. So so his hamstrings and his glutes mainly, I guess. From the back, they just look way too big for his physique. Like the proportions just look wrong. His upper body just doesn't match his lower body from the back. Like it just it just makes him look weird. I've never really liked his physique. I just don't. I think he's uh I think he's moved up to the pro ranks a little bit too quickly, and I think he's he's stepping on stage with these guys that he's not even near their caliber of of bodybuilder, and he's just stepping on stage with these guys way too soon. He doesn't even. He doesn't, he doesn't even compare with guys like Phil Heath, Kai Green, Dennis Wolf. I don't even know why he was on stage with these Olympia caliber competitors because I think the chances of Alexei Lesukov getting uh, getting an Olympia qualification are slim to none within like the next five years. Um, I feel like he's got a lot of work to put in to be to even be on the same Olympia stage as this, this top ten here. Um, so he got 16th place, which I think was rightfully so. I don't think he was ready to compete in this competition at all. He looked really soft. Um, some of the things that I noticed uh, were Kai Green looked really soft, and his, his stomach looked a little bit distended and a little bit bloated. Um, Sean Roden looked good. Dennis Wolf, I think I think Dennis looked a little bit better than he looked at the Olympia. Dennis Wolf looked pretty damn good in this competition. Um, I'm looking here at some of the other guys. Rolly Winkler looks fucking great. But you can see in the shots where he's compared next to Phil Heath, uh, you can see how he's got a lot of work to do to catch up to the caliber that Phil Heath is on. Like a lot of people will say, you know, Rolly Winkler's got some of the best arms in the business, but some of those shots next to Phil Heath, man, you could just tell the difference in Phil Heath's arms. His shoulders were so much rounder and fuller um, than Rolly Winkler's, and his triceps and his biceps, just everything was fuller uh, shot for shot next to Rolly Winkler. Um, so I think Rolly Winkler has a little bit of work to do to move up in the ranks to get to a to a top three contender status because Phil Heath is definitely in an unbeatable mode right now. I don't know if a lot of you guys knew this or not, but Phil Heath has never won an Arnold Classic. So this was the first Arnold Classic that Phil Heath has ever won. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little contest coverage for you guys. So again, that competition was called the Arnold Classic Europe and it was held in Madrid, Spain today, Saturday, um, October 12th. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like and uh, subscribe.